Hey guys, it's May May. The other day I was showing that we got some new background stamps in stock and we were playing around and I ran out of white paper. So I grabbed an envelope to show what the pattern looked like and someone messaged me and they were like, you know what? I really like the way those stamped envelopes look. Well, guess what? So do I, but they're not very practical because we can't write right here. So I had an idea and I want to share it with you. Now this will work on any background stamp. You don't have to have these I'm using. We are carrying these in the store now because I think they're awesome, but you do not have to have these. You can use this with any background stamp. This is the one I'm going to use today. These are incredible. They're made by Do Crafts and they're huge like this. They do have an acrylic block and we have those on order. They're on back order, but they have an acrylic block for them. But I use my um, background stamps facing up anyway. They also come with this cool um, protector for them. So you get all of that with them. Now here's what I did. I was playing. At first, I cut out a piece of masking paper and I put it on the front of the envelope and I did it down and it worked great. But then I was like, I don't need masking paper. Check this out. If I take one of the envelopes and I slide it behind here and line it up with the image so I know that the image is all covered and I just let it sit back there, it tells me exactly where I'm going to be inking on the envelope. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, now check this out. I have a piece of scrap paper. I've been testing this. So I'm just going to use some scrap paper and I'm playing in my inks, which is even more fun. You can use any old ink you want. So I'm going to use this color rich cocoa. I haven't even used it yet. And that's another thing. This is a cool way to play with your inks. So I'm going to take this small little, um, this is a dew drop and I'm going to go around the edges kind of where I can tell because I can see through here where the stamp, um, where the envelope is. So it's kind of like I'm inking the image where I want it to be on my envelope. So I'm just tap, tap, tapping around like this and see how I moved it. No big deal. I'm just going to move it back. Okay. I'm going to grab an envelope and make sure I have where the um, flap is on the back. I'm going to sit that down on top of that other envelope underneath. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's not going to matter. Take my scrap paper and rub that down. My hands are so inky. I've been playing with ink for days now. This will pick up all the excess ink off of the stamp too. So we can move the scrap paper out of the way, pick this guy up, and look, we have a pretty decorative envelope and we can write inside of there our address and all that good stuff. Isn't that neat? So that's the front of the envelope, but let me show you how to do the flap to make it super cute too. So I'm gonna take this envelope that I'm not inking right now out. I'm gonna open the flap. See that? I'm going to slide it under the stamp right where I want the stamp to be on the flap. So right to the edge. Matter of fact, watch this. If you line it up on your cutting mat, you can see where your flap edge is and then lay this guy over it. Just like this. Okay. Now I can ink up where I can see it. And I like to use a pre-made envelope a lot of the times, but they're so plain. And I think this is a cool way to decorate them for Christmas cards. Won't this be cool? I know. All right, I'm going to take an envelope. I'm going to open the flap. And now I'm just going to line my envelope up with the side where it's not being stamped. See how I'm just lining it up out here? Let it sit. Take my scrap paper. Rub it into place. Just like so. Picking up that extra ink. And then I can just pick this guy up. And look, our flap is totally stamp with our background stamp. I love that. So I've cleaned off this stamp and I want to do an entire envelope to show you the front and the flap. So let's start with the front. I'm going to put one envelope underneath and guess what? If you don't have an envelope, like you don't have an extra envelope that you're going to put underneath the stamp, just cut a piece of paper to the size because it's the size of the front of a card. You know you'll use it and put that underneath, but I'm just going to use an envelope because I have it. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is ink around the edges and this time I'm going to use Cottage Ivy Green. I think that'll be pretty. I'm just kind of hitting those edges. I think this will be so pretty. Imagine doing this to match the cards that you're going to be sending. That'll be fun. All right, I'm going to lay this down on top of that other envelope that I can see through. Place my scrap paper down. Pick up the extra ink, just like so. Now we can pick up our envelope. And look how pretty that is, ready to put the address and everything on. Now watch this. I want to do the flap. Now for the flap, it's not as important to do this, but if you're going to go from stamping your flap to stamping the front of the card, you really want to clean your um, background off. But it's not as important for what we're fixing to do, but I want to make sure I show you. Clean that off of the little baby wipe before you go from one to the other. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Still using our sample 
um, our little envelope we've been putting underneath. And I'm going to take this guy and lay it under. And I'm going to line the edge of that flap up with the edge of my stamp. Just like that. Now this one's super easy. I love this, um, the way of doing this. So now we're going to take our ink and we're going to ink where we can see the envelope through it. Isn't this cool? I love it. I think we can do a lot with this. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Now we're going to open this guy up, okay? And before we put him down, I'm going to line the envelope up back here in the back. So I don't have to worry about, am I getting the stamp lined up? I'm going to lay that down, pick up the extra ink, and ink up the envelope flap. Then I can pick this guy up and watch this. Totally stamped flap and front how cute is that right i think this will be so neat let's do one more pattern of a background stamp real quick i'm gonna clean this one this background stamp is called um floral i think floral background and i'm going to show you one using the paisley which i think is stunning so let me put this one away now i'm going to use some craft colored um, envelopes i think those will be really pretty i'm going to slide this under this paisley background matter of fact if there was a paisley that you loved or an edge that you really wanted to make sure you got you could line this up that way by putting your envelope behind it but i'm pretty good with just what we've got working on the edge here so now we're lined up there i twisted it <laughs> now I know exactly where to put this guy, but first I'm going to ink it. Now, I love tone on tone, so I'm going to use this rich cocoa ink, and I'm just going to go right around these edges, and this will leave me plenty of room to write the address, the return address, on the front of our envelope. All right, so now I can pick up my envelope. I'm going to lay it on top of the other one. This is face down because I'm not doing the flap at this point. We'll do the flap in a second. Bring back over my scrap sheet. Lay it down and pick up all that extra ink and pick this guy up and look at that. Cool, huh? I think that's really neat. Okay, now let's do the flap. Same way we did a while ago, but we need to clean this stamp off first because I don't want any of that ink that's left on there to get on our project. So I'm just going to wipe that away really quick. Then I'll pick up this guy underneath. Any that's any moisture on your work surface, make sure you clean that off so you don't mess your envelope up. And then we're gonna lay this flap underneath so that we know we're getting the paisley where we want it. Think about like that. Ink up over it. This one's gonna be pretty because that whole paisley is gonna get on there. Ink this guy up really well. Make sure you get Plenty. You don't want to miss any. All right, and then bring over our already stamped envelope. I'm going to open that flap and I'm going to line it up with the other envelope underneath. I don't even press it down. I let the scrap paper press, press it down. See, I just put the scrap paper on it and then press to pick up the extra. Just like so. Pick it all up and look. We're all stamped. The flap. This is really cute. It reminds me of a bandana. Look how cute that is. I love this idea. I hope you guys like this. I just thought it was something super quick and easy. And how many times can we find a way to use a stamp and make our envelopes match? I just think that's cute. You can do this with any um, stamps. As a matter of fact, you can just use stamps to do it. But I thought if you had these background stamps or if you had some big, maybe even, um, it won't work quite as easy with a rubber uh, with a wood block stamp because you're not going to be able to see through it, but being able to see through these guys makes this process easy and fun. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Let me bring our envelopes back over that we created together today. This is our floral and this is our paisley. I just love it. I hope you guys do. Let me know what you think below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.